It's my birthday! Yay! <laughs> and for the first time this week, it is actually sunny. Look at that. The blue sky is out. It's meant to cloud over later, but I'm going to enjoy this very sunny morning in the city today. I'm nine. <laughs> I've gone back. <laughs> so instead of a birthday cake this year, I requested that Kev got me um, some of uh, Mo's cookies because they are my favourites. So we've got some cookies for later, um, which will be really nice. So since we can't go to a beach today, um, it's actually clouded over now, which I thought would happen. We're actually going to go and see the new zoo. So Manila Zoo has actually been closed for quite a long time um, and I thought it was supposed to be permanent but it turns out the zoo has actually just recently reopened so we thought, you know what, still have to go out on my birthday, still have to make it nice and special so we'll do something and cross it off of our list and it's something that we're all going to enjoy, I'm sure of um, and we're going to go check out the new zoo and we'll see what it's all about. And what are you going to pick? Quick, go! <laughs> Daddy's there. <laughs> Daddy one. <laughs> being this busy on the 28th, but it is. So we're just waiting in line. We booked the tickets online, but you can't pay for them. Um, so we've had to queue up to the pre-booked visitors line, but the line's kind of all over the show. It's a bit of a crazy um, situation. Huh? Um, but we think we're in the right place. We just kind of have to wait it out in the queue. Turns out we did the ticket thing a bit wrong. We got one QR code, but it turns out we need five. So Kev's just working that out now. <laughs> got our tickets it took a little bit of time only because we got it wrong but everybody was really really helpful so it didn't take that long at all to sort it all out so the guys here will always help you if you're not sure what to do because we weren't um but we're in and it looks it's so busy but it looks really cool i'm really excited to walk around and see what manila zoo has i'm not really sure i've not really done a lot of research i've watched no videos so this is all a really first hand experience So just to let you know, tickets cost 1,200 pesos for all five of us, which in UK pounds is 17 pound, which is actually really, really cheap. Uh, zoos in the UK are very expensive. They cost about 60 to 70 pounds without any discounts or anything, especially if you go to like Colchester or London Zoo. Uh, so I don't think that's that bad at all, which is really good. So we've just seen the elephant and now we're heading to the aviary. In the cage, there's the lesser white egret and the multicolored stork, which is really pretty. They're all down there. Kev's really scared that we're gonna fall through because it is quite springy, the floor, uh, but we're on the concrete bit now, so I think he's all right. <laughs>
I think there's a tiger in the next one. You go see tiger. That was actually a white Bengal tiger. They are extremely rare from what I know. They're very endangered. Um, he's just in there on his own, having a little snooze, which is lovely to see. Hopefully he's enjoying his time here in the zoo. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to actually see a white tiger. Um, they're kind of not very popular. Even in England, you don't really get white tigers in the zoos. You probably only find about one. Uh, that's how rare they are. So that was quite cool. There's like birds flying out everywhere as well and like bugs and stuff. So that's like a free part of the zoo. Like all the bugs and birds are like flying everywhere. That was really cool. I really like the tiger. He's very sweet. In Australia and New Guinea. Ah. Look at you. So there's actually a mixture of Philippine deer. Didn't know you guys had your own deer. Um, and ostriches as well. A bit of a mix. Uh, but they seem to be getting on alright. <laughs> Oslo's found the other tiger. This one's a traditional orange and black striped tiger looks like he's having a lovely time over there doesn't he is he having his news a real tiger yeah don't think oslo thought that the white tiger was a real one because it wasn't the right color so apparently this is a real tiger but we also found a, a a zebra in the ostrich and deer pen um he was hiding behind the trees so we decided to um, have a look and see him. Kev said also there's supposed to be a giraffe on its way, like coming into the zoo. Um, obviously because the zoo's so new, I can imagine there's gonna be a lot under development or a lot of animals still get to come in. Um, but so far it's been really nice. The animals look like they're being like really well looked after. The pens are really big and, and they look like they're happy animals, which is the best you can hope for. Um, but yeah, the zebra's really nice. I think so far it's been really nice seeing, you know, those classic, zoo animals hopefully we can see a few things that we've never seen before that are more kind of uh like asian animals that you don't i mean the elephant was asian and a few of the birds were as well but it'd be nice to see some more as well so there's actually two lions in here there's the male and the female and they're both having a lovely little snooze aren't they birds they were really cool actually one of the kites actually flew really close to where I was standing and I didn't expect it they're all really flighty in there like they're really um, energetic and then we saw some toucans and they were so pretty I think they're definitely my favorite so far like the toucans and the uh, kites that was really cool now we're just kind of where all the lizards and alligators and crocodiles are and um, there's a few there's a really big one just in front of me but there's such a big crowd and um, we're just waiting uh, for it to kind of dissipate a little bit. It is very busy here. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this busy, 
but like where all the animals are like 50 people will be standing so um just gonna wait for it to kind of get a little bit quieter and then we'll go and see the croc Go and head to the monkeys. We've just had a bit of a pit stop. Uh, we've got some drinks just to cool down, and now we're going to go see some monkeys, which are Elowen's favourites. So hopefully we can see some. It turns out that the monkey section is closed. The play area and the monkey bit are all kind of intertwined, so it's difficult to work out how you get up there. But when we went up, the guy just said no, sorry, closed. So we're going to move on to I think the butterfly sanctuary and the botanical garden and I think that's literally all there is. I think that's the last bits we've got to do. I don't know if you can see, but the monkeys are just there. Just there. And it looks like they're trying to escape. <laughs> There's like all these butterfly um, taxidermies everywhere, all different species, and they're all on the walls before you go in and see actual, the real like live butterflies. It's quite cool, you can learn like all their names and stuff. Then here there's all the chrysalises, so these are all baby, brand new butterflies, which is so cool. You see the butterflies? actually quite hard to spot I can't see there's quite a few above the head like up here um, but I can't see any like really close by like um, when we went to uh, Camp John Hay all the butterflies were everywhere they'd land on you like you didn't you can move without like a hundred butterflies going all around but here it's a lot less um, but you can just about see some so we've just come onto the veranda and you can see a lot more up here they're kind of all up on the ceiling in the plants, all on the net. It's quite cool, whoa, hello. The butterfly sanctuary there are a few around but as i said it's really not as there's not as many butterflies as there were when we went to camp john hay they were everywhere they'd land on your face on your clothes there's a few that start to fly down but a lot of them are on the ceiling and they won't really come down very often and um, but it's still really cool it's really nice so we're sitting in here for a little bit and trying to see how many we can find for our grab to come down he's had to turn around because it is a quite chaotic road it's not very easy to kind of 
um, pull over and like get people uh, to be picked up. But um, I think he's on his way, so hopefully we'll be all right. <laughs> there it was so um clean and well kept and obviously well managed but you could see how new it really was um, and they make a massive effort there to not have people litter or leave a lot of like rubbish lying around because i think that really like ruins people's experiences when there's like a lot of like pollution and um like rubbish all over the floor so they're really diligent about it which is nice um and it was just it was really good fun um i had a really good time I think my favourite was the birds, like the kite coming right in and like swooping at my face was quite cool and the toucans were really nice as well. It was however super super busy, there were a lot of people there and the kids, like they're a little bit unruly, I'm not gonna lie, like they were smashing on the glass and it says everywhere do not tap on the windows and obviously disturb the animals but people were really interested in just getting that photo, that like photo moment and the kids really wanted like all the animals to move around so there's all banging on the windows and trying to get the animals attention so that was quite difficult to watch because it you know obviously it's not very fair on the animals but i understand you guys love your photos like that's really important to you um, but it was really difficult because every time you wanted to see an animal you had to wait for like 50 people to do a photo and they wouldn't just do one they wanted to do, like five and then there was like a three or four different people in each family trying to get like every child in a photo. So that was quite tricky. So I'm not sure when the most quietest time is to go if you're really looking at actually trying to get around the park and look at the animals without being too overwhelmed with people. I was quite surprised just after Christmas that it would be this busy. I thought it'd be really quiet because usually in the UK on the 28th of December, like literally everybody's at home. Nothing's opened really other than the shops. And you can't really do a lot so i'm kind of very i'm very grateful that you can go out and do so much straight after christmas and um, but it was really chaotic it was a little bit difficult to move around and and not feel like you're being pushed or because there's a lot of kids that just push straight through you they won't you know they won't think they won't look they want to see that animal and they'll they'll go through you to get there um but other than that it was really nice it was a good price as well i must admit um as i said earlier the zoos in the uk are a lot more expensive to go to um, they're a lot more of a treat like you don't just go to the zoo every other you know saturday it's more of like a once a year maybe kind of thing um so to pay only 17 pounds was actually really good that's probably the price of one ticket in the uk so that's really good um but for now now that the zoo is over and done with and we've had a nice time we've come back kids are eating lunch and i'm hoping to go and catch the new avatar movie um up at Greenbelt. For some weird reason, you guys, your films don't last very long in the cinema. Once they're like out for a week, maybe a little bit longer than that, they literally get rid of them in every cinema. Like the, the Avatar film has only been out since just before Christmas, like 10 days. And it's already like not in a lot of the cinemas. Like I can't go to Circuit. I can't go to um, Power Plant Mall. We've had to go to Greenbelt. Yeah, we do. Um, and that's really odd to me like when we tried to watch Black Adam they'd all they, it would have gone you can't see it anymore and when we went to see Wakanda Forever it was literally only the circuit mall that had it running so it's very strange like you like in the cinemas in the UK they last like a month so you've got like a whole month to go and see it but here you, if you don't get it that week of it um, coming out then it you, you missed it <laughs> so I'm hopefully gonna go and see that tonight and also catch some dinner as well so we'll catch you in a little while. I'm just gonna go and rest my bones for a bit. <laughs> so what did you think about the zoo? Um, it's different to the zoo we experienced in the UK. Um, very sparse with their animals. I know it's a very brand new zoo, so I'm sure it will expand more and more. Yeah, it's only I, very little as well. I don't know how much it can really expand because it's in the middle of a city. Yeah, it's very, very, it's very little. It's a very little zoo, but it's also, it's very, like, for what, 
But what, what you pay for, yeah, you get amazing value for what you pay for. Yeah, it's a good experience to have. It's very chaotic. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of things in the Philippines is a very chaotic. Yeah, thing. Slow experience. You gotta have so much patience. So we've come to Shake Shack just for a quick bite to eat, literally before we go and see the film. Um, Shake Shack's really good. It is really expensive, but. Um, we tend not to eat too much, so it doesn't get too much for us, but yeah. You happy? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have some burgers. Yeah. <laughs> So it turns out that um, we're not now in the cinema, we're actually back in the condo because the showing that we were going to go to was absolutely full. Uh, so we couldn't go to that one and the, the other showing tonight was half nine, which is a tiny bit too late for the kids. So we actually booked it for tomorrow and even tomorrow was pretty busy, like most of the cinema is pretty much full up. Um, so a lot of people are wanting to see this one. Um, which is absolutely fine. It means tonight we're just going to chill out, watch a movie at home and have some cookies. And yeah, I've had a really great birthday. I've really enjoyed it. The zoo was really cool. It was really fun to see the animals and take the kids out there. Um, and it was really nice going out to Greenbelt and getting some dinner. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, thank you so much if you wish me happy birthday. If you didn't, don't worry. <laughs> um, but I had a really good time and it was really lovely and well spent here in the Philippines. Uh, and the next birthday is, I believe, Kev. Kev's the next birthday. He's in March. So we've got a little while yet till we need to do any more celebrating. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed um, watching about Manila Zoo. Let me know what your favourite animal is ever. Like your favourite animal in the world. What is it? Comment below. That'd be amazing. Mine is an elephant. I like tigers. Oslo likes tigers. And I think, yeah, we're going to leave it there. So thank you so much, Salama Po, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. And my favourite animal is the flamingo. So Salama Po and Palam. Salama Po.